Let's talk. Peyton. 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 Peyton Manning. Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. The Black Mamba. Abby Wambach. Abby Wambach. I love Abby Wambach. Everybody knew about Archie's son. Who's your favorite football player then? My dad. Abby played on the boys' soccer team because she was so darn good. It was so cool. It's Kobe Bryant. To go straight from high school to the NBA. That's crazy. He said, congratulations, you just drafted the guy who's going to bring you a championship. I just thought, I got to follow this kid. And he came out the gates on fire. Woo! Unstoppable. He set rookie record. Yeah. I was like, who is that player? As a freshman, she brought Florida the championship. It's just her grit and determination. She's definitely a badass. He brought something new to the game. Just came out, strutting his stuff, that between his legs dunk. He does the world know I'm here. That was the fake. It's happening. It just went off. It's insane. What? Monster. The greatest performers set themselves apart by the way they make you feel. As soon as they walk onto the stage, as soon as they make one move, you know there's something different about them. Kobe, Peyton, Abby. Before they all decided to say goodbye this past year, they already had a lot in common. They were touted as stars from the start. All the hype and expectations and pressure placed on their shoulders immediately. Good would have been a disappointment. Even great would have underwhelmed. To truly live up to who they were supposed to be, they had to become legends. Remember that when you remember how they became those legends. The header heard around the world. 122nd minute, time was ticking down. It was just incredible. After that, everyone was practicing headers. The biggest thing was his battles versus Tom Brady. Finally beats Tom Brady. Epic. <laughs> you could see the dynasty form. Shaquille and Kobe found their niche. The infamous Kobe lob to Shaq. And then they started winning championships. She's such a leader. You can tell, like, on the field, everybody looks up to her. It's just her passion. She's one of the strongest women I've ever watched. She's a juggernaut. He just went off. 81 points for Kobe. Oh, my God. 81 points. That's freaking ridiculous. He'll give you the real play, then he'll change it to a fake play. Oh, uh. He's a mastermind. In the closing minutes. He's a killer. Super Bowl 41. And then he throws it up. <gasps> and that look of satisfaction. He plays from his heart. Ultimate competitor. <laughs> head was bleeding like a faucet. And they just put staples in her head. Click, 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 click. And then she comes back in. She is a beast. Tore his rotator cuff, fractured knee. He was like, this is not going to defeat me. After that horrific neck injury, I was like, is he still going to be great? Everybody's counting him out. He goes to the Broncos, and as soon as he gets on the field, he threw for seven touchdowns, he was definitely on fire. Every record he could break, he did that year. By himself, in the record books. Madden 2000 with Peyton Manning. I couldn't throw 55 touchdowns. Peyton freaking Manning, man. This is going on! 84 goals. More than any man or woman in the history of soccer. Those next two championships were glorious. Their primes were as great, as legendary as any in history. Super Bowl titles, Olympic gold medals, NBA championships, obliterated records. Those are the achievements that are supposed to make you immortal. But with these three, the comebacks, the absolute refusal to give in to devastating injuries, they just stapled her head. <laughs> Sorry, that just hit me. Whew. Sometimes it made us wonder if maybe they actually could play forever. When they ultimately decided to say goodbye, 
We didn't know what it would be like. And as it turned out, it was barely believable. The last game was epic. I wore this shirt that whole day. We had a party at my house. Everybody was rooting for Peyton Manning. When he came on that court. What does he do? 60. 60 point game. That's the way every player wants to go out. I'll never forget. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I turn it on. She raised that team up on her shoulders. He showed the world that he's just so great. Even till the end. I was jumping up and down. You see that Lombardi trophy? If I had hair, like it would stand on end. Come on. It's a fairy tale ending. I don't think you can write a better script. Thank you for being a leader that I can look up to. He inspired a lot of people. Oh God, I'm gonna cry. You make these connections with people throughout your life. They embody the greatness that, you know, we all want. I think everybody wants greatness. Ladies and gentlemen, three iconic legends, three of the best to ever do it. Get on your feet one more time for Peyton Manning, Abby Wambach, and Kobe Bryant. y'all thank you justin this is a great night and to be up here being recognized alongside abby and kobe two legends makes it very special the espies have always meant a lot to me and i want to give a special thanks to the producer of this show mara mance who's quarterback the espies every year one of the great honors i've had was four years ago presenting Ar the arthur ash award to my friend coach pat summit and of course, we remember her tonight, along with the iconic Muhammad Ali and everyone we lost this year. Watching those films, all I could think about was how fortunate the three of us up here are, and really all the athletes in this room are, to be in the position that we're in, because sports would be nothing without the fans. The Super Bowl wouldn't mean anything, the World Cup wouldn't mean anything, the NBA Finals wouldn't mean anything without the fans. Being a fan is how I first came to love the NFL, and now that my time is up as a player, I'm looking forward to having a great time being a fan again and watching all of you out here in this audience tonight. So again, thanks very much. It's a tremendous honor. Thank you. Uh, it's such an honor to be up here alongside Peyton and Kobe. You guys are my heroes. For me, it was never about trying to be the best player in the world or scoring more goals than anyone else. What it was about was just working as hard as I could and being as committed as I could, embracing every challenge. Still, I never wanted to be completely defined by my sport. I wanted people to see who I was underneath my jersey and for them to appreciate me, the person, as much as me, the athlete. I think that's why women's soccer and the U.S. women's national team have appealed to so many people for so long. We're willing to be true to ourselves and speak up when there's something to say. Whether it's about equitable pay or equal opportunity for female athletes or any issue about fairness and injustice. That's what I'm most proud of. Being part of, a legacy, being part of that legacy, standing up here in front of you today, true to myself and knowing I left the game better than I found it, I'm as excited as I've ever been to see what's next. Well, you know, 
thank you. And uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's amazing to be standing here alongside Abby and Peyton. And, uh, you know, Abby decided to retire after a compelling World Cup victory. And uh, Peyton hung, it up, hung up his cleats after yet another Super Bowl win. And so for me, you know, I tend to do things a little differently. So <laughs> I felt an impressive 17 for 65 season would be a bold statement to wrap up my 20 year career. <laughs> In all seriousness, I, I have a lot of respect for these two, and uh, we grew up in our sports together, and I know the sacrifices that went along with standing here today. And uh, We're not on this stage just because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two-a-days or five-a-days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us stronger. We were never satisfied never finished, will never be retired. My high school English teacher, Mr. Fisk, I actually paid attention one time in class, and, and he said, he had this beautiful quote, and, he, and it read, rest at the end, not in the middle. And I took that to heart. I believe there's time for resting at the end, but for me, that time is not now. Thank you for this tremendous honor and acknowledging my basketball career but I'm far from done. My next dream is to be honored one day for inspiring the next generation of athletes to have a dream, sacrifice for it, and never ever rest in the middle. Thank you to my wonderful family, my wife, our daughter, Natalia and thank you guys.